Hey guys, this is a recent change out we did within the last year. And he said his emergency drain pan's full of water. So we're going to try and figure out what's going on. The uh, owner's not here yet. I'm waiting him to waiting for him to show up I can vacuum this out while I'm waiting on him though that's what I'm gonna do I don't think it's budging. Let me try blowing that out and vacuuming it again. I'm beginning to think that maybe this does have a vent in it, I think. If it's got a vent, none of this is going to do any good. So uh, I may be wasting my time right here. I gotta wait till I can get inside. No water in there. <laughs> this one should have. This one should have shut it off. The one I kind of swooshed the water on is the one to the pan. I kind of, that one right there. Yeah. And uh, I kind of stuck my finger in there just to make sure nothing was clogged. And when I swooshed it away, I mean, it cut it on. Hmm. Well. I think we do them with something else other than, other than a clogged drain. Okay. Like maybe this isn't level or something. I don't know. I got a little drill pump I'm gonna bring up here. And Get the rest of that out. Okay. There we go. All right, let's do that again. Fill it with water. Get that down to the pump. Did I just shut it back off? Come on. I may have. Filled it back up. <laughs> I may have filled this one up. Uh,
Alright, now let's try to figure out why we got water in the paint. Well, we did. Definitely got a lot of water out. Let's check pressures real quick. not freezing up that's a relief hmm. so now I gotta check to see if that air handler is not level between the lines perfectly between the lines just right It's a little, little bit high on this end. Hmm. Same thing, not by much. Hmm. I know how to lift this, but See if there's something I can put under it. Just notice the design on this plenum. See if I can lift it. Hmm. 
without having to go get that. Oh, I can lift it. Getting something up in there might be a different story. Honestly, that looks pretty good. between the lines. All right. Next, I need to look at the filter, see what kind they have. I think they got multiples. And then check static pressure. Oh, that's good. And there's another one uh, over here. Now let me ask you, when they were dirty, mm -hmm. were they very dirty? Uh-huh. Not at all. I thought it was supposed to blink blue. There we go. That's zeroing it. See what kind of lead we have. Mm, manometer. You'll see that. Why is my return? 
Uh, I got 0.82. We normally look for 0.5. If static pressure is too high, what it results in is high velocity coming across that coil, and it can actually pull the water off the coil. My filters are clean, vents are open, that's just high. Let me see if there's something we can do about that. see if that works at all I took that high speed from five down to three sometimes these motors will only work on certain speeds Right, that brought it down to 0 0.71 I reduced it by 0 0.1 inches water column my question is is that enough That's high. That just don't seem to make a whole lot of sense. My supply is fine. I'm going to leave it right there and see how it does. day later and we're going back over there we've got the same problem I've already seen it and this time I'm convinced it's just that it's out of level just enough not to drain so I'm going over there with some pads and prepared to jack that thing up a little bit so you can get the pads under there easily he said this is the first time that the air conditioner has run since we installed it so I guess it's never drained right there we go this is what I like to buy because it's got so much on it you can use I don't need one two three four of them should be plenty Alright, 
think I can do this by hand, but I'm prepared to jack it up. You can put a ratchet strap on this thing and jack it up if you want. But, um, all right, what do I do with my light? Did I leave it up there? It's looking like I did. No, here it is. <clears throat> Back over here. Let's just jump straight to putting these on the other side. I plan on putting them most towards the front. I hope you don't make it lean too much. You can make it lean too much. Let's go, let's do the first one. <clears throat> All right, that one's in there. Probably pull this out now. What I was talking about with a ratchet strap, you can take a piece of hanging strap and make a loop. And you can hook your ratchet strap to it and then jack it up. But I didn't feel like I needed to do that. Get that one started. Check it out again. Okay, here at the back, if y'all can see that. Is leaning towards the drain. It's outside the line. Same here. And this right here is... I know it's hard to see. Well between the lines. That should drain. We just need to get this water out of here. All right, I'm wanting to see if this is gonna drain.
pouring down the drain. That's what we want. Willa, oh. I ran some of the water down the drain in the pan and it's coming out. It's coming down the drain. It's doing what it's supposed to? It looks like it, yes. Um, there's only one more thing I can think to do. I put a hole here to check pressures yesterday. I'm gonna take a camera and look in there and make sure there's... No obstructions? Yeah, like it's got insulation on the inside. Make sure none of that has folded over or anything like that. But um, I think that did it. Okay. I keep my fingers crossed. I mean, I, I didn't think it was that far out that it would have affected it, but maybe I was wrong. Where did you push the pads at over in the other side. There? All right. There's a little rail right here on yeah. the. There's one on the other side too. Um, and I put them on top of that rail, like right here and right here. Okay. To make it lean this way and this way, way, just a little bit, yeah. This pan, yeah, there's no way for it to get out of there, right? Yeah, and that's on purpose. Right. Still to make it, though, right? Yeah, exactly. Stop for a second, put this pan on, or else it's gonna be blowing that hot air in your house. This thing ought to start draining right away because I was putting water in the pan. Let's go outside and check. Okay, just when I was fixing the head back up there, this thing started pouring a little faster. That's more like it. Well, finally, he going to drain like it's supposed to do. Thanks for watching, guys. I figured I'd give you all the update, and I'll catch you on the next one.